with you running out every freaking time. Watch your language! Oh. I'm sorry. Okay? I want to know this one. I didn't say the F word. <laughs> well, it sounded like you said the F word. But anyways, I couldn't help it. I wanted to explore more and... I heard... Galaxy. And I heard her calling out for me. I couldn't... I couldn't just ignore Galaxy. her. Well, I understand that, but Jesus Christ, all the... Yeah, these little adventures, all the... Uh, crazy people out there you met. Jeez. Uh... Them are crazy, right? Bobby. <sighs> okay, anyway. Like I said, I do got a, a surprise in there. Don't worry, it's not a bad one. It's a good one, I promise okay. you. I think it might be someone you might know. So, anyway, let's head on side and see okay. what's going on. Come here. on, Toby. Toby. Okay. Hey, okay. there you are. Yeah. <gasps> Rosie Chan! Yang Chan! Yang Chan! Okay, thank God they do know each other. Yang Chan. Just as I thought. Mm. How'd you get here? <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I got here with my mom's key. You got, you got Auntie's key already? Yeah. Oh, okay. you're right, you're a bit different. Yeah. Uh, I I was I got scared and I took the yeah, key and I ran for uh, ran for me karma. Hmm? Oh. oh Yeah, this is Celebi. She's the one that got me to this place. She said there was a danger that was approaching and how to get me out. B. Oh. I'm glad that she got you out, Yin Chen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hello, she's very nice and very caring. And she knows how to play okay. play with flowers like we do. Mm-hmm. That let me boop. That let me boop. That let me boop. I'm glad you like your little surprise. Yeah, we found her. She, apparently she arrived not long ago, and I got a call from uh, True Blue and got him silver. Oh. And apparently, yeah, they were watching her. Oh, Mr. Blue Star yeah. helped her? Huh. I'm glad. That but it? wait, wait, hold yeah. on. Wait, you said that you ran away from Mino Krama. What's he doing out and going after you? He knows He knows he's not allowed to go after you alone. Not without Auntie Marina's permission. Yeah, I was about to ask that question. What exactly, what exactly happened before you got here? Ma oh. Mama, Mama got sick and she never got better. And Dad and Papa was on his way, and me and Karma was yelling for me. So I took Mama's key and I came here. Dad, she got sick. Okay. Um, that makes no sense. Auntie Maria never got sick. This is weird. Yeah. Something fishy is going on. Mom, Mom, I'll say something fishy is going on, but I don't know how the hell they're responding I, I to the tried, others. I try, I try telling them before I left that there, that you could easily take care of Mama and make her better, but they didn't make her better. What do you mean Some, by that? Something fishy. Hold on. I'll I'll tell this to Mr. Draco. Okay, uh, a while a while back ago, me and Rosie Chan we were playing in the labs. We did get permission, 
and they gave us and they gave us some stuff that we can be able to play with without causing any problems or causing anything to explode. Well, while we were playing, Rosie Chan and I found a cure for night for nightshade poisoning. Nightshade poisoning. Nightshade mm -hmm. berry poisoning. Yeah, nightshade berry. Yeah. And when yeah, because at first initially we thought, oh, we just made a fresh juice. We're out of these little plants, mm -hmm. but what then? However, uh, Rosie Chan found a nightshade berry that was hiding as one of the samples. We were told not to eat it, and we said okay. But when we put it within the little bottle, it suddenly just disintegrated into dust. And when we went to scan it, there was no traces of the berry. So in mm -hmm. other words, we have found we found a cure for it. We tried to tell some of the adults, but they wouldn't believe us. The only ones that did believe us were Auntie Marina and Mommy. Hmm. Nice shade. Mm -hmm. That's fatal to your kind, isn't it? To foxes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. I love me. But Mama got sick with it. That's Mama. why I said it's fishy. Because... If Auntie Marina got sick, Mommy should at least tell told them about this. Even R Rosie Chan was able to tell them about this, but how come they keep making no, making Auntie them. Marina get sicker and sicker? That makes no sense. There's a traitor. Traitors okay, to the crown must be punished. Traitors okay, to the crown deserve that. no mercy. All right, but yeah, calm down, you two. All right. Y'all know y'all traveled quite a distance to get here. I know, I know. But do y'all know how far you've gone? You came. Um, the only that when what happened on my end it, before mom, Mama got sick. Yin Yin Chan and I, Auntie Annie Hart. Anihara, they, hmm, they left and everything, and after they left, Mama got sick after she came back from her mission, hmm. and then she never got better, and she died, and everyone was trying to get a hold of Papa, and then okay, so... Mama yelled for me when I was playing out in the garden. And I took Mama's key and I left. And I came here. Okay, that's your events. And from your events, you were being pursued by the one you called your godfather, correct? Um... No, the thing was, what happened when I got here, I was all alone in the palace. I had no idea what was going on at first until I made a wish and a portal opened. I walked through it, and that's when I met you and everyone else. Celebi here told me <sighs> that. Hold on, it's okay, Celebi. I got this. But after I saw Celebi, she clarified with me that somebody is messing, trying to mess with time and go after me. And so Celebi opened that portal to get me out, so I don't get hurt. Celebi. I just ran away from... So, where were your parents? I honestly don't know. Like I said, when I walked... I woke up one day... I went through the palace, I couldn't find mommy, daddy... Auntie... Auntie Marina, none of the guards... Not Uncle Burchill... It... Not even that... Raziel. Is it possible... Mm. That when she woke up, everyone was try everyone was at my in the Fox Kingdom Palace trying to heal my mama. That's an interesting theory right there. But it made no sense though. Because if that is the case, mommy would have told me what happened to Auntie Marina. <clears throat> and that, and that, that was, was really important. Yeah, and then I would have and then no. we would have rushed over. Yeah, no one would abandon their own daughter. No one child, hell no. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. It was just a thought. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it was a joke. 
That's a good theory, trust me. Don't give me that's a good theory, but I'm gonna tell you two this right now. And Celebi, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but the both of you have traveled more than a thousand years into the future. One thousand years? That's a well, lot of years. Yes. Oh, I'm not even now. The picture came from the events you just told me. You arrived, you came here from the timeline just after your mother died. Mm -hmm. And you... I don't know, because that sounds a little interesting, that sounds more... Hmm. Hmm. It, it could mm -hmm. be before... Maybe it could be before... Before she ended right. up here? Before she ended... No, something else. Yeah, you, said, you said something about my go about being pursued by my godfather. What do you mean by that? Uncle Barch will never hurt me. All right, there's some things I gotta tell you guys, and with your permission, we might allow because mm -hmm. I need to start. I think it's about time we start explaining and stop hiding some stuff. Celebi. <sighs> you said yes. All right, little one, I'm gonna say this right now. Mm -hmm. Your uncle Varchiel does pursue you because, let's just say, someone poisoned his mind and caused him to go mad. Oh, oh. So someone. And then you get sep and then, and then you get separated from your family, and you end up in a different in a different realm, different world. Hmm. Poor uncle Varchiel, but. Why would they want to separate? Why would you separate me? <sighs> Is that was what Bartul... she... No, quick question. Was Barchul still a king of heaven at the time? Of course. He's he's one of the true four kings of heaven. Mm. So Is my it guess possible is possible that you... when she woke up? Is it possible that when she woke up, that's what happened? That's why no one was around her? She got separated then? Probably set up an illusion or something to make it look like no one was around. That could, that's a possibility. Mm. That makes no sense though. But... Uh, hold mm. on. But we don't even know if, what this threat could be because... Even I asked Celebi if she knew... What? Who this threat was? Who would want to go after me? She has no idea. Why would someone go attack you from the past? All threats of the present time have been dealt with. Unless it could be like a new threat coming up, maybe? Or maybe somebody from the future? Maybe. There's only one thing... <sighs> There's only a few I people I know think... that can have questions, that can question about that. I don't know if they're ready one... to see you two. <laughs> there, there's only... there. Wait. Who? Present... Well, let's just say your family of this time. Papa? Let's Papa just say he's here? gone through some... Ch he's gone through some changes. Hmm. Mm. I was gonna say, there was always a... Um, not Karuna... But there was always one, um, uh, Fox. He was, he's a couple years older than, um, Yenchen and I. But he was always really quiet and mysterious, but he's really good at illusions. He's really rare. Mm. He's the only one of his kind. He's really rare. <sighs> anyway. Well, now that you two's reunited. At least now you can have a little bit of peace of mind knowing they got someone from someone here from your time to spend time to be with. Mm. But it's but it's not gonna make me stop thinking though. Who wanna hurt me? I mean mm. I don't even know them. And who would no. wanna hurt no. Uncle Barchel? <laughs> oh. oh Honestly, I oh, can't Selby, oh, I can't divulge. Selby? Oh. I think he. I think somebody has an idea. Oh, is. Oh, hold on.
This great danger, they are trying to hit a specific point of time. My, granddau my granddaughter is my youngest one, Yena. So if we go over to the time frame on Christmas, Christmas Day when she is 515 years old, you'll be, able, you'll be able to find her, see if you can be able to get her through, and bring her to this day in time. I see. Okay. Okay. I think I got a clear, clear things going on here. So, so, so Celebi got me out on Christmas Day, and it turned out Celebi only was actually asked to help me out. I think Celebi. the vo the hold on, hold on, hold on. I see what the woman. The woman looks like, though, that was the Aselobi. She is a bit very tall. Her hair almost matches Mama's, but she also kind of has a bit of a personality, almost like Aunt, Aunt, Auntie Marina's. I think I have an idea who that is. Wait, are you talking? Is it? I've only heard, I've only heard about her from Mama. Um, Mama said that Aunt, uh, Grand, uh, Grand, Grandma, Grandma Z G Zara. G Zara? Yeah, oh, I, I see remember Mama. I see G Zara. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that, uh, I remember Mommy talking about her from time to time. Mm -hmm. So that could be her. Is her name Azara? Azara? Celebi. Wait, That's Grandma. Yeah, I know who that. I know who she oh. is. Oh. Okay, she's alive Grandma. then. <laughs> Celebi. Uh... Naturally, naturally, that's not exactly in this timeline. She's not alive. But, hmm. but certainly, let's just say certain events did take place in this present timeline. Karma is no more. Yes! Azara has taken her place. Azara hey. has taken her place as the ancestor now. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, 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 but maybe Azara might have some extra answers in regards to it. But, but if I can figure out how to contact her, I could, I could ask her. Well, are you able to get over to the world where we come from? All you gotta do is get over to the Fox Ancestor Shrine. Uh, I have to ask help for that, but I think I can reach out to someone that can get me to be yeah. I don't okay. wanna, I don't wanna go. I really, I know we have to go back sometime. I just, I don't want to, especially with hey. the Kerma still there. Hey, right now, little one. Don't worry about that. You got family here now. Yeah, and even Rosie Chung, I don't want to go back either, but we do have to go back sometime. But I say neither one of us go back until Celebi tells us we have to. Because Celebi did, Celebi did say we can stay here until whatever this threat is, is gone. Celebi. Yeah, because I do have Mama's key. Mm-hmm. And I can go, and I can go back. You mind looking out? You mind looking after Celebi. this one as well? Celebi. Alrighty. <sighs> I'm not well, anyway. kid, I'm Rosaria. I'm ferocious. <laughs> You're adorably ferocious, I'll say that. I'm ferocious too. Ferocious. He just won't believe very me. very ferocious. Yeah. <laughs> Right, well, <laughs> you Celebi. got a pool back there. I don't know if y'all got swimsuits. Y'all wanna go play? I don't have I don't have a swimsuit, but I could just jump in anyway. I'll go get my swimsuit on. Okay. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> 
Hey, you be nice to Celebi, mister! Yeah! I'm Otherwise, sorry, I'm telling okay, Miss I'm Barry! Ugh. Anyway. Uh, I think those are... Those are like little firework toys? Okay, careful. Careful. Uh, yeah. Whoa, yep. Here we go. <sighs> and also... Also, plus a friend of mine... Oh, wait. Who's that? Oh, Rosie chan A friend of mine yeah? taught me this trick. Hang on, watch. Stay here for a little bit longer, but then again, I'm gonna have to find you a different place because huh? since you're both here and you both have a tendency to sneak out. Celebi, 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 Hold on. Celebi, Celebi, Celebi. I sent Celebi. a message to a, I sent a message to a friend. Celebi. He can help you. He can help you better provide more security and more accommodations for you two. Who? Who's this Celebi. friend? No, no adventures. Who's this friend? Hey, 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 I'm gonna say this. How many times you? How many times did you sneak out? We have whites. We have whites to sneak out, Mister. Yes, but right now there's a threat out there for you two. I don't know when they might strike. We can handle ourselves. I ferocious. Me too. Selby was witness. Yeah. Hey, you too. Hey. I know I'm not gonna doubt your capabilities, but right now you're still children. Mm, and that I is, can go. I can be as big as that. As this. <sighs> Let's just say I, I, I sent a message to someone to help out. All right. Hopefully he can. He'll respond later. Hmm. Who's gonna help? <laughs> but in the means no, But in the meantime, enjoy yourselves and have fun. Okay. Be with your be with your family. Okay. But. Don't just say I'm just a kid, all right? It's honestly kind of annoying. Charity. <laughs> yeah, we're not kids. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be one long night, but you know what? It's gonna be eventful. Pew! Yeah, there he is. Look at that. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, hey, hearts! <laughs> I was here to see this, but you know what? It is what it is. You know what? You know what? What? Hey, easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think you've had enough fun, long. you two. Let's go ahead. Let's pull. Uh, let's put the fireworks up. Let's get you cleaned up. <laughs> very uh, I'm just gonna make dinner. Okay. Okay, I'll hey. go get clean. All right. All right, you go. I'll go clean. Okay. Hey. Don't worry about it, okay? 
Mm. Sorry, it just gets annoying whenever someone keeps saying I'm just a kid or I'm just a princess. Yeah. Parent. No. Right now, you're just two kids I'm watching. You're just two little kids I'm watching, alright? I I'm drying now. <laughs> Go clean See? up, alright, come on. Do I gotta remind oh, you, Mr. Draco? <laughs> Hey, after day, if you want, if you want, hey, if you want to spar after dinner, we can, little one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I take you on. Oh, two, oh, two on one. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come on, go get cleaned up. Let's go. Okay. Go get cleaned up. Okay. 